To use my photo roster, first go to myphotoroster.com, then click on the register link, fill in all of the required fields, and then click submit. Then close my photo roster. Then go to myphotoroster.com, input your username and password. Myphotoroster.com should then display this screen. Some instructors might not want to use their cell phone to take photos of their students. This might be because they are uncomfortable with the technology, or perhaps their classes are too large, and taking photos with your cell phone in a class of 40 or 50 would consume too much class time. An alternative is to have the students take a selfie with their phone, and then on their phone, email that selfie to your college email address. If you decide to use this option, I recommend that you have the students also send their last name, then a dash, and the first name by which they would want to be called in class. It also would be a good idea to have them note the class section in which they are enrolled. On your computer, perhaps on the desktop, create a folder with the name of the class, including the class section. For example, I've named this class 01 Mask Class. As you open the emails from your students containing their selfies, their names, and the class section in which they are enrolled, you can then edit the selfie with the editing software of your choice and then save that selfie in the appropriate class folder, the student's last name with a dash, and then the student's first name as they would like to be called in class. Do this for all the students in your class. When you are finished, you can then upload this folder to Google Drive. Now I'll go to Google Drive on my computer, select the class folder, I'm going to open it, and I see that the two students' names appear. Notice they're alphabetically by last name. I'm going to now go back to my drive, right-click on the folder, and download. Once the zip file has been created and successfully downloaded, you can now close Google Drive and open My Photo Roster. On my photo raster, click the Browse to a zip file. The zip file that I just downloaded is under Downloads. I'm going to highlight it and select Open, and then hit the Submit button. After some time, the class information was uploaded successfully. I'm going to go to the Select a Class and select the class that was just uploaded. Here I see the students that are in that class folder. I'm going to view the photo PDF. And notice in the PDF file that has been created, the last name of the student is in lowercase. The first name is all uppercase and in bold print. I'm going to click on Create the photo roster, and then download. And here the photo roster has been downloaded to my computer. If I double click to open that PDF file, here I have the PDF file as it will appear with the students' photos as I have taken them, their last name and first name, with the first name all in uppercase letters and in bold so that you can easily read it when this is uh, printed out and placed on your desk. You can then save this and print it. When you're finished with this class, you can choose to delete the class, or you can save that class in your account on My Photo Roster. That is how you can use My Photo Roster and your cell phone to create a photo roster 
that you can use in class to easily identify and call on your students by name. I hope this is useful to you in your classes.